Okay, so today we're talking to Adam Grohman with Battlehawk Armory. Adam, how's your day going? Going well. How about yourself? Good, good. Thank you. Thanks for giving us some time today to tell us about Battlehawk Armory. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, just tell us about the business in general, what it's all about, what your products and services are, and, and uh, we'll get into it a little deeper then. Gotcha. So... I kind of started this business out of my basement in 2015. Um, I was a manager for fairway stores for 19 years. And I was just kind of doing this as a hobby and it just kind of blew up into something else. And uh, actually just left fairway in uh, October of last year. Very good company, uh, hard decision, but uh, being your own boss and, you know, seeing this through was just something that I had to do. And it's been really good. Uh, decided to move to uh, I was up in Spirit Lake was my last fairway um, station and uh, decided to move to Central Iowa for the population and be around stuff and um, felt like the market could use another um, gun store um, and our online business is extremely strong we were actually so busy we couldn't even get our store open until we had fixtures in the middle beginning of February and we didn't get open until the end of May and we had a grand opening in June, and it's been growing steadily every every day, every week. Um, yeah, it's it's business has been good. Um, so tell us about the products and services that you have there at uh, Battle Hawk. Um, so you know we're we try to sell high end tactical firearms um, suppressors. That market is very under um, undervalued. Um, People are undereducated about the process of getting a suppressor. That's kind of what we, we try to have a lot of suppressors in stock so people can actually look at them instead of, well, we can order you that one. Um, and uh, high-end rifle scopes. Um, we don't have a gunsmith right now. It's something we're vetting and looking into. Um, we are going to partner with another um, local dealer who's going to start outsourcing some of that stuff for us so we can get a little bit of gunsmithing, common stuff. Uh, setting in a scope, um, threading a barrel, stuff like that. Um, but we just, we try to have a kind of a touch it, feel it approach. So uh, nothing's behind a case except for suppressors. They're behind a case um, because they're technically registered firearms. So we really got to be careful with those, but all of our guns are locked to the wall. You can walk in and touch everything um, and kind of feel it, touch it yourself before you make the decision. So, okay. and again, we're primarily on online based. That's kind of our bread and butter. So the store is definitely an accentuation of that and has been very good. So I know that whole industry is really, uh, business has really picked up a lot in the last couple, three or four years. And you just give an example of how busy you are. So who is the, who is the, your, your ideal client or who is your target market now? Um, pretty much anybody. I mean, anybody who's who wants to um, get into the industry, um, get into self-defense, home defense, um, shooting sports. I mean, what's crazy is people always think about guns and hunting, but the shooting sports industry is, if it were to be actually ranked, it'd be like the fifth or sixth biggest sport in the United States. I mean, it, does, it doesn't get a lot of airtime on TV, but it's a very big industry. Um, and the industry as a whole is huge, but anybody who wants to get in, anybody who's just starting to um, get into the sport, we'll, I'll gladly talk, talk to anybody about buying their first firearm, responsibilities, how to clean them. Um, myself or any of my staff will gladly do that. So last year, as a nation, there was 8 million brand new firearm owners, and 40% of that demographic was female. Um, so we try to... We also, I mean, we try to cater our store to that growing demographic as well. We've got some different carry concealed purses. We try not to have the intimidating um, tactical feel of things. We want everybody to feel like we're approachable and we can answer your questions and you trust us. Oh, very interesting. Very, that whole market has changed a lot in the last couple, three years. I know that. So would you be able to, from beginner to let's say a seasoned expert. So you can, you can deal with both ends of the spectrum there. Absolutely. Okay. So somebody brand new, just wanting to learn about guns and firearms should feel welcome to come and see. It's not just for somebody that's been in the industry for a while. 
obviously. I mean, we have people every day that come in. This is the first gun I've ever bought. What should I buy? Um, and likewise, you know, if somebody already has their mind made up, we'll gladly help them answer any more questions. And yeah. Okay. It's it's nice because our friend Google can answer about any question that we don't know the answer to. So we try to get everybody an answer before they leave the store. Very good. So obviously last year was a pretty crazy year. Um, how is 21 different than 20? Are you, is, or are you seeing customer counts up, uh, sales up? Tell, tell us about the difference between 21 and 20. Uh, 20, uh, 20 people were panic buying and they were more buying anything they could get their hands on. They were buying the cheap stuff. Um, they were buying stuff they didn't necessarily need. Um, 21 people are definitely more picky about what they're buying as availability becomes better. Um, it's not as panic, but it's a panicked industry. So one, one thing could really ignite stuff. Um, it's been busy. It's slowed down a little bit. Um, the modern sporting rifle market has slowed down the concealed carry. The pistol market has kind of sped up and or maintained its course. Um, going strong. A lot of people are getting into, into hunting. Uh, hunting ammunition is still hard to come by as that industry expanded as well. Um, but it's getting better slowly. Um, yeah, I mean, we're trending way up because we have a store and we have, you know, instead of just myself and then my wife, and then I got my best friend on board, and now there's, I think there's 13 of us. That's quite a team. That's excellent. It is. So let's talk about uh, how I know a lot of businesses, small businesses are having a challenge in recruiting, building their team. How are you? Uh, how is it working for you? What's working? What's not working? Uh, to get to 13, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good growth. It's really weird because uh, when I left Fairway Stores, we were really having a hard time uh, getting, getting part-time help. Um, it, was a, it was a struggle. Um, being in the firearms industry, it's, it's weird, but people want to work here and want to have a job doing stuff like this. Um, yeah, it's honest, honestly, knock on wood, it's been pretty good. And we've had, we have some pretty good people and pretty good staff and I wouldn't trade away one of them. So it's been, it's been easier than I thought it would be, but I know that can change with the drop of the hat. So we're always looking for good people that can fill a, a unique void. So you've been, you've got a brick and mortar store going now. What are some couple, one or two things that you could throw out that have been major learnings for you, major aha moments in having a brick and store versus just being online? Um, maybe a little bit of the time factor is you're, you're having to spend the time with an individual instead of sending them an email and you can respond to it when you get to it. You know, they're in your store, they're wanting to spend money. So we need to make sure we spend time with them and, um, educate them or answer any questions they have. And yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing The maybe the time constraint, albeit it's a necessary, I mean, it's not an evil, but it's just, it's something I didn't factor for as much. Sure. A lot of industries are struggling with inventory, uh, with uh, supply chain issues that how is uh how is your industry on that? Are you is is your industry are you guys doing all right? Is there certain areas that you're having problems getting getting inventory in? Um, raw materials are still a big deal. Um, a lot of manufacturers are coming off of where they were just streamlining product and they're starting to you know get back into their other SKUs and other models that are, that have been hard to get. Um, the stuff that's more labor intensive that's harder to get. Um, because it takes more time and a lot of manufacturers are struggling to find help. Um, the other thing is trucking has been, um, as that industry uh, faces some labor shortages, stuff is, instead of it being here in a day or two, it's taken a couple weeks to come by semi. Um, ammunition is still a hard thing and certain firearms are still hard to get because the demand is still strong for in certain categories and for certain models, SKUs. Uh, but it, it is getting better overall. Um, but a lot of the same things, raw materials have gone up, labor shortages. So that's the same factors the rest of the country and small businesses facing. Okay. All right. So tell people how to get a hold of you. How do they reach out? 
uh, where is your brick and mortar store at? What's your website? Give everybody the scoop on how to how to do business with you. Gotcha. So we are um, www.battlehawkarmory.com, where you can type in Battlehawk. If you don't want to type that all out, it'll link to our website as well. Um, we're located at 3060 Southeast Grimes Boulevard, Suite 600, um, right off Highway 141 in Grimes. We're kind of behind um, Hickman Power Sports, facing to the south, behind Food Depot. So we're in uh, kind of a strip area in there. Um, 712-339-5403 is our phone number. Um, yeah, pretty easy to get to. I mean, what are your hours? What are your store hours? Right now, we're just open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we're not open on the weekends right now. We'd like to get there, but we're so busy during the week. It's like, man, we could go all day long, and I'd never have a day off. So, and the other part is, uh, myself and my partner Andrew, we both came from Fairway for 19 and 20 years, respectively, and we've worked about every Saturday for the last 19 or 20 years. So we're kind of over it for a little while, anyway. Um, and that's not to say we, you know, we don't want the business or don't need the business, but we're in a growing and transition stage and we'd like to get somebody else who could probably manage that uh, business for us on Saturdays and then go from there. Okay. Very good. So wrapping up anything else about uh, Battle Hawk Armory that you would like people to know um, anything uh, else that, that you want to include in our conversation today to put out there. Nope, uh, just that we're well, you know, anybody's welcome. Um, we're here to serve you, serve our customers. Um, nothing too crazy. All right. Well, Adam Grillman from Battlehawk Armory. Adam, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.